Let's record some beats with the pads. With the kit of your choice loaded, press the play button, then the record button to enable record mode. Now you'll probably want a metronome to help you keep time while recording. Play, as you may have noticed, is also the metronome. Hold shift and press play to turn it on. To deactivate the metronome, hold shift and press play again, but I'll leave it on for now. So go ahead and play a part in. Good. Now I'll turn off the metronome. Now you might want to quantize your recording afterward to correct the timing. If you look just above pad 6, you'll see the quantize 50% option. This will only move the notes halfway to an absolute position on the grid, making their timing tighter but still maintaining the basic feel of the part. So I'll do this by holding shift and then pressing pad 6. You can hear it's tighter but not too mechanical. I can press it again and it will move the notes even just a little bit closer. Another creative possibility is using note repeat. It's a really handy way to program beats. It triggers the selected sound repeatedly at a given quantization. While holding the note repeat button, press the pad that you want to record. Notes will now be repeatedly triggered at the rate shown on the right display. You can hear it triggering this shaker sound on 16ths. Now it's also sensitive to pressure, so I can press harder or softer to change the shaker volume while it's playing. I'll go ahead and record that. We'll talk about note repeat a little more in one of the later tutorials. If you make a mistake in your programming, or you just don't like what you're hearing, there's an undo function available directly from the machine controller. You need only hold the shift button and press pad 1 to undo the last action. Now this could be anything from removing the last note played to undoing a deleted sound. So if I delete this sound by pressing erase, shift, and the sound, I can undo that by pressing shift plus pad 1 for undo and it's back.